Hello students, let's have our first practice session of this series in which I have come up with a lot of numericals from mole concept. I hope by the end of this video, a lot of concepts from mole concept will get much more clearer for you. So let's start with our first question which reads, find weight of 3 gram atoms of sulphur. Now, one note point here before we start with this particular numerical gram atoms or gram molecules it is the same thing as moles you can say that it is a different name for moles so whenever you see gram atoms or gram molecules it is nothing but they have given the value of moles so here in this question they have told three gram atoms of sulfur so it means 3 moles of sulfur is given to us and they are asking the weight. So again mole formula, how, how is moles related to weight? N is equal to weight upon Mw and Mw is the molecular weight of sulfur. So 3 is equal to weight upon molecular weight of sulfur is 32. Therefore, weight will be equal to 32 into 3, that is our 96 grams. This will be the final answer. Coming on to the next question, find the number of atoms present in 16 grams of O3. Now, O3, what is the molecular weight of O3? 48 grams. So, 48 grams of O3 contains Na molecules of O3 and we know that one molecule of O3 contains 3 Na atoms. One molecule of O3 will contain 3 atoms not 3 Na right. One molecule of O3 will contain 3 atoms of oxygen. So one mole of O3, one mole of O3 means Na molecules or 48 grams will contain how many atoms? 3 into Na atoms, 3 into Na atoms. Now, so we know that 48 grams of O3 is containing 3 Na atoms. So 16 grams of O3 will contain how many? 3 Na upon 48 into 16. So 16 3 is a 48, 3 3 cancel. So 16 grams of O3 will contain Na atoms in total. Next question. Pause the video and try the questions on your own first, then only. Uh, check your answer with the solution that is provided here. Now, what is the next question? Calculate the mass of sodium which contains same number of atoms as are present in 4 grams of calcium. Okay, very nice. So, first I will find out number of atoms present in 4 grams of calcium. So, we know that in 40 grams of calcium, that is the molecular weight of calcium, how many atoms are there? Na atoms of calcium. So, in 4 grams of calcium, how many atoms should be present? Na upon 40 into 4. So, total Na upon 10 atoms are present in how many grams of calcium? 4 grams of calcium. And in the question, it is said that this many atoms is equivalent to how much mass of sodium? How much mass of sodium? So now let's consider the mass of sodium as W. W upon MW is equal to N upon Na. Where W here is our mass of sodium. And the number of atoms also here is of sodium. But it is the same as this one. So we can place that particular value here. W upon 23 is equal to Na upon 10 divided by 
Na. So Na Na gets cancelled. When you solve this particular thing, what you will get? W is equal to 23 upon 10 is equal to 2.3 grams. So this many number of atoms will be present in how much weight of sodium? 2.3 grams of sodium. Fourth question, find the number of H2O molecules present in 252 milligrams of oxalic acid dihydrate. So first and first thing we will be finding out the molecular weight of this uh, oxalic acid dihydrate. So H2 C2O4 dot 2H2O. What will be the mass of this? Two atoms of hydrogen. So 2 plus carbon is 2. So 12 into 2 plus oxygen is 4. So 4 into 16 plus 1 molecule of water weight is 18 grams. So there are 2. So 2 into 18. Calculate this. How much it will be? 126 grams. So 126 grams is the gram molecular weight of this oxalic acid dihydrate. Now just now we have seen how much of water is present total in 126 grams of uh, uh, oxalic acid dihydrate 36 grams. So we can say that 126 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate contains 36 grams of water. So we can say that one any molecules, any molecules of oxalic acid dihydrate is, is containing two NA molecules of water. Or in other words, we can say one molecule of oxalic acid dihydrate contains two molecules of water. Try to understand this. So, 252 milligrams will contain how, how much uh, amount of water. So, 252 milligram means 0 0.252 grams. 0 0.252 grams will contain how much grams of water? 126 gram contain 36 grams. So, 36 upon 126 into 0 0.252 that will be around how much it will be 0 0.072 grams so in this much amount of gram of oxalic acid dihydrate how much amount of water is present this many grams 0 0.072 grams now in case of water we know that 18 grams of water is Na is equivalent to Na molecules of water. So 0 0.072 grams will be equivalent to how many molecules because ultimately they are asking the number of H2O molecules that is present in this 252 milligrams. So this 0 0.072 grams will be equivalent to Na upon 18 into 0 0.072 that will give you an answer of 0.004 Na. This many number of molecules of water will be present in this much amount of oxalic acid dihydrate. So this is our final answer. Next question. Which among the following? is the heaviest which among the following is the heaviest that means you have to find out the corresponding mass of each one of them one mole of o2 is equivalent to how many uh, how much weight one mole of o2 is equivalent to 32 grams one molecule of so3 one molecule of so3 means 64 u sulfur is 32 oxygen is uh, oxygen is how much? 48. So 32 plus 48, not 64. Wait. Uh, 10, 80. Correct. 80. So this will be 
अरे मैम यू हैव डन मिस्टेक इन फाइंडिंग द मोलिकुलर वेट इट सेल्फ सो सॉरी दिस विल बी एटी ग्राम्स ओके नॉट ग्राम्स यू बिकॉज दे हैव टोल्ड वन मोलिक्यूल इफ दे हैव टोल्ड वन मोल देन एट्टी ग्राम्स वी विल राइट सो वन मोलिक्यूल ऑफ एसओ थ्री इज एट्टी यू इफ आई कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू ग्राम्स इट विल बी एट्टी इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर ग्राम्स सो दिस इज ऑलरेडी वेरी वेरी लेस सो दिस विल बी स्ट्रेट अवे आउट ऑफ द कंपिटिशन राइट एंड देन थर्ड वन इज हंड्रेड ए एम यू ऑफ यूरेनियम हंड्रेड ए एम यू मीन्स हाउ मेनी ग्राम्स हंड्रेड इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर ग्राम्स अगेन दिस वन इज स्ट्रेट अवे आउट and then we have grams itself 44 grams of co2 so which one will be the correct answer which one is the highest one heaviest one definitely option 4 44 grams is heavy, heavier than this 32 grams and these two were already out of the race so answer will be option d now we will practice certain more concepts but before that one important thing is there that is fundamental particles what are fundamental particles so inside the atoms also we have certain fundamental particles okay so those are called electrons protons and neutrons we will be studying about those fundamental particles in details in the next chapter Uh, but for now just know that what is the mass and charge of each of this fundamental particles it will be necessary in calculation so this is the electron mass 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 this masses are in kilograms and the charge in coulomb will be minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb proton mass will be 1.672 into 10 to the power minus 27 and neutrons mass will be 1.674 into 10 to the power minus 27 i already told in a previous lecture that uh, the mass of proton and neutron is almost almost same so you can see here how it is almost same it is 1.672 for proton and for neutron it is 1.674 so the difference is about 0.002 so it is almost negligible and the charge for proton is Plus one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen coulomb, and for neutron the charge will be zero. Neutron is a neutral a neutral particle. So we have learnt this. How to incorporate it? How it will come as a numerical? Let's see. So the question. I hope you have noted this down. These values are very important. You have to remember it as such. So please take a note of it. next the question is the number of electrons present in 3.6 ml drop of water with a density of 1 g per ml so if the density is 1 g per ml that means uh, 1 ml will contain how many grams 1 g so if it is 3.6 ml it will contain how many grams 3.6 grams Water they have told H two O very good. अच्छा, eighteen grams of water contains how many molecules? Any molecules of water? Okay, we already know this. Now, I have to find out one molecule of H two O will contain how many electrons? So if I talk about hydrogen. what will be our atomic uh, atomic not atomic mass atomic number atomic number is 1 and how many hydrogen are there in uh, h2o i already told you this this is a this is z this is mass number and this is our atomic number and atomic number gives us an idea about number of electrons so for hydrogen it is 1 so in h2o there will be two electrons from hydrogen plus in case of oxygen it is 16 8 so this is the atomic number so number of electrons in oxygen will be 8 so 8 electrons total one molecule of h2o contains total of 
electrons. So Na molecules, Na molecules that is around 18 grams will contain how many electrons? 10 into Na electrons. So one gram will contain how many? 10 into Na divided by 18. Now what is the uh, question? 3.6 ml. 3.6 ml means just now we have written it here. 3.6 grams. So 1 gram contain this many amount of electron. So 3.6 grams will contain how many electrons? 10 into Na divided by 18 into 3.6. Cancel this out with 0 0.2. So it will be how many? 2 Na electrons. So in 3.6 grams of water or we can also say 3.6 ml drop of water, how many electrons will be there? 2 moles electron, 2 moles of electron will be present in that particular 3.6 ml drop. So this is our final answer. So the answer will be option A. Moving on. See here, now, calculate the mass of 1 mole of electrons. Now, mass of 1 electron is how much? Just now we have seen in the chart, mass of 1 electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms. So, mass of 1 mole electron, that means they are asking mass of any number of electrons that will be nothing but Na into 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram. So when you multiply this you will get as 5.4 into 10 to the power minus 7 kilogram. So please remember this value 5.4 into 10 to the power minus 7 kilogram. This is the mass of one mole of electrons. So like this you can find out the uh, mass of uh, one mole of protons, one mole of neutrons as well. Coming on to the next question, calculate the charge of one mole of electrons. Now one electron, charge of one electron was how much? Minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So Charge of 1 mole of electron, that means Na electrons, charge of Na electrons will be Na into minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. When we calculate this, we will get the answer as minus 96500 coulomb. Now this particular value we will be seeing later in our 12th grade in the chapter electrochemistry. This particular 96500 is nothing but 1 Faraday. Whenever we will talk about the charge of 1 mole of electron there, because in electrochemistry we will be studying about uh, the loss of electrons, gain of electrons. So we will be seeing there if 1 mole of electron is involved anywhere, we will say 1 farad of charge will be required or 1 farad of charge will be involved in that particular uh, process. So this is known as 1 farad charge. So 1 mole electrons is equivalent to 1 faraday of charge. That is equivalent to 96500 coulomb. This was question number A. Now question number B will be charge on magnesium plus 2 they are asking charge on 1 mg plus 2 will be how much? 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and this will be plus charge because uh, 2 electrons have been lost means what? This plus 2 means 
two protons are extra. So this is the charge of two protons. So 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So the charge on Na mg 2 plus will be 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into Na. And just now we have calculated this 1.6 here. Na into 1.6 which came as 96500. So we can say 2 into 96500 that will be around we can say we can call it as 2 farad. So whenever there is a, a particular ion for example Al plus 3 how much charge it, it is carrying 3 faraday plus 3 faraday positive it will be okay. So like this we have to calculate the charge of electrons and protons. Now, coming on to the next question. At STP, the density of a gas, molecular weight is given as 45 in gram per liter is. Now, here, density formula is Pm by Rt. This, regarding this particular formula, we will be studying in details in the upcoming lecture. But for now, we can do it in a separate way also. The general formula that we uh, know already. That is, at STP, we have studied that the volume of the gas will be 22.7. At STP, the volume occupied by the gas will be 22.7. This is the volume. And the mass is given... Mass is given as 45. So, density will be nothing but mass upon volume. That is 45 upon 22.7. That is nothing but 2. So, the density of the gas in gram per liter will be 2. So, the answer is option C. But we could have calculated it in this uh, particular uh, formula, putting the values in this particular formula as well. So we will be seeing about this formula in the upcoming lectures. Moving on, question number 10, one mole of CH4 contains 4 gram atoms of hydrogen, 3 gram atoms of, now I told you what does gram atoms mean? Moles. This also means moles. Okay, now let's see. 1 mole of CH4. What is the data we can decipher? Na molecules of CH4 it should contain. So definitely this will be wrong. Then 1 mole of CH4 contains Na molecules of CH4 and 1 molecule of CH4 contains one atom of carbon plus four atoms of hydrogen. So one mole of CH4 will contain one mole of carbon and four moles of hydrogen. So definitely the answer should be option A. Because it should contain 1 mole of carbon. So definitely it does not contain 3 moles of carbon. And option C is Na atoms of hydrogen. It should not contain Na atoms of hydrogen. It should contain 4 Na atoms of hydrogen. So the option C is also wrong. So the correct answer will be our option A. Moving on. Find the number of atoms present in 0 0.016 grams of methane. Now this is a very easy numerical. After what we have done so far, this should be homework. You will do it on your own. Okay. So please do this on your own and I am telling you the answer. The answer will be 0 0.005 Na. Okay. So match your answer. Next question. Which has maximum number of oxygen? Now, maximum number of oxygen atoms they have told. Okay, let's see. First one, one gram of oxygen. 
So one gram of oxygen means, so definitely if it is oxygen, we know that we can find out weight upon molecular weight is equal to N upon Na. We can find out using this formula. So 1 upon 16 is equal to N upon Na. So how much is N coming? Na upon 16 atoms. Okay, very good. Option B, 1 gram of O2. Again, do it 1 by. Now this time molecular weight of O2 will be how much? 32 is equal to N upon Na. So N here will be Na upon 32. And what is this N? This N is molecules, not atoms. So you have to find out atoms. One molecule of O2 contains two atoms. So N molecules will contain how many atoms? Two N atoms. Just you have to multiply this thing with the atomicity. So when you multiply it, you will get 2 into Na upon 32. That will give you N upon 16 atoms again. Similarly, do it for the C option. 1 gram of O3. O3 molecular weight is 48. So 1 upon 48 is equal to N upon Na. So here... N is coming how much? Na upon 48. This is again molecules. You have to multiply this thing with atomicity in order to get the atoms. So atomicity of O3 is 3. So Na upon 48 into 3 will be our number of atoms. So this will again give the answer as Na by 16 atoms. So can you see? Here also Na upon 16, here also Na upon 16, here also Na upon 16. So the answer should be our D. All have same number of oxygen atoms. Next question. 7.5 grams of gas occupies 5.6 liters at STP, the gases. We have to find W is given, okay? V at in liters at STP is given, okay? So we have to find out the molecular weight. So weight upon molecular weight is equal to volume in liters at STP upon 22.4. Now, Molecular weight, let's take it as x. So it will be 7.5 upon x is equal to 5.6 divided by 22.4. So x will be equal to 7.5 into 22.4 divided by 5.6. Uh, upon calculation, how much will we get? 30. So 30 is the molecular weight of which gas? Which gas over here? This is 28. This is yes. This is 30. So the option B will be the correct answer. N. Okay. Next question. The maximum number of molecules is present in. Maximum number of molecules. Let's see one by one. 15 liters of O2 at STP. Molecules they are asking. So this formula we will apply. N by Na is equal to volume upon 22.4. So N will be equal to 15 upon 22.4 into Na. This is the first one. For first, first one. This is option A. Then B. It should come around. N upon Na is equal to 10 upon 22.4. So N should be 10 upon 22.4 into Na. Okay, this one is B. C, 1.5 grams of H2. So here which formula? W by MW is equal to N upon 
एन ए सो हियर एन विल बी इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू इज हाउ मच वन पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई मोलिकुलर वेट ऑफ एच टू विल बी टू इन टू एन ए दिस वन इज फॉर सी एंड फॉर डी इट शुड बी अगेन दिस फॉर्मूला वी हैव टू यूज इट शुड बी फाइव अपॉन वॉट इज द मोलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सी ओ टू फोर्टी फोर दैट इज इक्वल टू एन अपॉन एन ए सो वॉट विल बी एन एन विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव अपॉन फोर्टी फोर एन ए नाउ ऑब्जर्व दिस वैल्यूज ऑफ एन विच वन इज मैक्सिमम विच वन इज मोर डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली ऑप्शन थ्री वन पॉइंट फाइव अपॉन टू एन ए सो यू कैन सी द डिनोमिनेटर इज वेरी वेरी बिग ओवर हियर सो द वैल्यू विल बी लेस बट हियर द डिनोमिनेटर इज लेसर सो डेफिनेटली दिस वन विल बी अवर मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स कमिंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ गेशियस मिक्सचर कंटेन्स ओ टू एंड एन टू इन द रेशियो वन इज टू फोर बाई वेट ओके ओ टू इज टू एन टू वन इज टू फोर लेट्स टेक इट एज वन एक्स फोर एक्स ओके देन द रेशियो ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स नाउ टेकिंग दिस एज वेट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स सो ओ टू फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड आउट फॉर ओ टू इट विल बी वन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी टू इज इक्वल टू एन अपॉन एन ए सो हियर एन ओ टू वी आर गेटिंग हाउ मच एक्स बाई थर्टी टू इन टू एन ए दिस इज फॉर ओ टू सिमिलरली वी विल फाइंड आउट फॉर एन टू ऑल्सो हियर इट विल बी फोर एक्स अपॉन वॉट इज द मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ एन टू फोर्टीन प्लस फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी एट इज इक्वल टू एन अपॉन एन ए so what will be the total number of molecules of n2 it will be this we can cancel no with 7 x upon 7 into n now we have to find out the ratio of this and this so again o2 n o2 is to n n2 it will be x dot n a divided by 32 by x dot n a by 7 so this two will get cancelled giving the answer as 7 upon 32 so what should be the ratio 7 is to 32 which one is the correct answer option b option b will be our correct answer next question a sample of c2h6 has the same mass as 10 to the power 10 molecules of CH4. Find the number of molecules of C2H6. Okay. W by mW is equal to n upon n a. This we already know. This we already know. Can you see the relation between the number of molecules and molecular weight? It is inversely proportional. It is inversely proportional. so can i write number of molecules of one sample upon number of molecules of second sample is equal to molecular weight of 2 upon ye to z ho gaya 2 are christmas is coming molecular weight of 2 upon molecular weight of 1 right so using this formula we can calculate it very very easily i hope you have understood this how this particular thing is coming n1 is directly proportional inversely proportional to molecular weight of 1 n2 is inversely proportional to molecular weight of 2 now i have just taken the ratio of it okay now let's take one as this one and two as methane one is our ethane n uh, 2 is our methane so n1 will be how much n1 will be we have to find out right the number of molecules of ethane we have to find out so let's keep as n1 n2 is how much 10 to the power 10 10 to the power 10 
that is equal to molecular weight of 2 that is our methane over here that is 16 upon molecular weight of 1 the weight of ethane so that will be 30 c286 24 plus 6 30 so n1 is equal to 16 into 10 to the power 10 divided by 30 when we solve this the answer is going to come as 5.33 into 10 to the power 9 molecules this many molecules of c286 has the same mass as 10 to the power 10 molecules of ch4 final answer next question yes very important question very important question from 256 grams of so2 one by one step by step we will go from 256 grams of so2 now 256 grams of so2 first i will convert it into moles let's take it at as n1 so n1 will be how much w upon mw that is 256 upon what is the mass molecular weight of so so2 it will be 64 so it will get cancelled with 4 so this is equivalent to n1 that is equal to 4 moles so from 4 moles of so2 this many molecules of so2 are removed again this molecules i will convert into moles again this i am taking as n2 it will be n upon na so 1.2046 into 10 to the power 24 divided by na so this particular thing i can write as 12 into 10 to the power 23 approximately divided by 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 this gets cancelled this will get cancelled with 2 so nearly equal to 2 so now rephrase the question from 4 moles of so2 2 moles of so2 are removed then find the volume of leftover so2 so what is the leftover moles of so2 leftover moles of so2 is equal to n1 minus n2 that is 4 minus 2 2 moles 2 moles of so2 are left so what is the corresponding volume of this 2 moles of so2 as at stp n is equal to volume in liters at stp upon 22.4 so n is 2 so volume in liters at stp will be how much 2 into 22.4 that is our 44.8 liters so this much volume will be volume of so2 will be left over at stp if we remove 1.2046 into 10 to the power 24 molecules from this 256 grams of so2 this is a very important question uh, same type of question can come here they can give a number of molecules they can they can vary it so here they can give n here they can give weight so first things first you have to convert it into moles it will be very very easier that time next yes now this is an integer type question how to do such questions read the question first five moles of ab2 okay five moles of ab2 contains not contains weigh 125 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg very good and 10 moles a2 b2 this is a2 b2 10 moles of a2 b2 weighs how much 300 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg okay very good again the molar mass of a and molar mass of b in kilojoules sorry kg per mole is this much okay so molar mass we have to find out of a and b okay first we will find out one mole of ab2 will weigh how much 
125 into 10 to the power minus 3 upon 5. That will be 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. And 1 mole of A2, B2 will weigh how much? 300 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 10. That will be 30 into 10 to the power minus 3. This is kg per mole. This is also kg per mole. Per mole weight it is. Right. So, I can get two equations from here. What are the two equations? Mass of A plus 2 into mass of B is equal to 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. This is the first equation. And here, 2 into mass of A, you can see two, two atoms of A are there. Plus 2 into mass of B is equal to 30 into 10 to the power minus 3. Very good. This is equation 2. Now what can I do? I will subtract. I will subtract 2 minus 1 I will do. 2 minus 1. So if I do 2 minus 1, 2ma plus 2mb is equal to 30 into 10 to the power minus 3. And MA plus 2 MB is equal to 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. Subtracting this. This will get cancelled. This will give you 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. And MA. So this value we have got. MA is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. And they have told here molar mass of A is how much x into 10 to the power minus 3 so this is x so x will be our 5 let's find out what is mb so this equation i'm i'm taking so ma was 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus 2 mb is equal to 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 so 2 mb will be equal to 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 so, mb will be equal to 10 into 10 to the power minus 3. And this was our y into 10 to the power 3. So, we can say y into 10 to the power minus 3. So, what will be our y? 10. Now, what they are as asking? Calculate the value of x plus y. Done. x is 5, y is 10. So, x plus y will be our 5 plus 10 that will be our 15. So, 15 is the answer. So, this is how we approach integer type question. Next, the number of moles of electrons which weigh 1 kg is 1 by x into 10 to the power 8. What is the value of x? Ni. Ni means nearest integer. Okay. What was the mass of 1 mole of electron? Just now we have cal calculated it. It was mass of 1 mole of electron. Can you remember it? I told you to memorize the value. It was 5.4 into 10 to the power minus 7 kilograms. So I can say this many kilograms is equivalent to 1 mole. So, 1 kg is equivalent to? 1 kg is equivalent to 1 upon 5.4 into 10 to the power minus 7. Correct. So, now if I convert this into this particular format, we have almost got the answer. See, this particular thing 5.4 into 10 to the power minus 7. If I write it like this, 54 into 10 to the power minus 8 kg. I can also write it like this, no? So then this will change. 1 upon 54 into 10 to the power minus 8, which will be 1 upon 54 into 10 to the power 8. So this format and this format is matching now. So our x will be... 
I'll repeat this once more. So we have seen 5.4 into 10 to the power minus 7 kg is the mass of 1 mole of electrons. Change this format a little bit. We can write it as 54 into 10 to the power minus 8 kgs. That is equivalent to 1 mole of electrons. So 1 kg will be equivalent to 1 upon 54 into 10 to the power minus 8 and from here this 10 to the power minus 8 is just going in the numerator this changing so x will be our 54 this is the final answer okay so the last question for today is the number of n atoms in 681 grams of C7H5N3O6 is x into 10 to the power 21. But this I will not solve. This is for you to solve. Thank you so much. See you in the next class.